Hello there folks and welcome to my first video on Lost Heart. I became increasingly curious in the game and well although I didn't buy it in the first moment. Well, here we are in the class selection and I was interested in sharing with the world and see how each profession looks like and well how certain things can be taken into account since each game has its own uh, way of customizing your characters. Apparently up till now by the looks of it the game looks quite flashy but we'll see in the game how things are. Now this character face looks definitely like what you'd find in uh, uh, what is it called? Like Desert Online? Alright, so the mage is called a difficulty 4 of 5. I will see which one is the difficult. So attack power, we radius, support, attack of defense or defending towards, and dexterity. We'll see what this means because usually this one is the more intricate one of them. The warrior feels definitely as kind of the most balanced. Martial artist female, okay. Support, AOE radius, has attack power, dexterity, and stands a bit with defense. Alright, so this one is classified as the five. So apparently there's definitely no difference in between these two. Okay. Ah. Oh, Devil May Cry is that you? This one again. Okay, so the tendency is definitely not towards support and defense. The last one is the assassin, which is called 3 of 5. And again, support and defense. AoE radius don't seem. So, the most difficult one like before is the first that I tend to. This one and the main. Um, oh well. Let's dive into the main and see. Ah, so each profession has its uh, upgraded version. Oh, you have speed. Unless. Okay. Then you have a paladin. I'm guessing the paladin is a bit more demoriated. Uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh well, this, this definitely looks fishy. Now all I can say is the isometric view makes a big part that helps with the visual effects.
feels a bit towards the engineer in Guild of Soup. If one ever remembers the Charles Luka. So the death blade is basically slice them up, slice them dice. And the Shadow Hunter. Which of these? No, Bard sounds a bit. Sounds a bit sport oriented. Eh, Alright, let's see. Alright, so apparently, welcome to the customization of a character. Let's see, can we actually choose more of the outfits? Eh, this one feels a bit more acceptable, I would say. I mean, get me wrong but you know if this game is gonna be oh okay I've seen this mechanic before is this still is this still black desert where where you swap the character I mean rotate the character the character is still looking at you all right wait oh this round this one really reminds me of a outfit of guild of two And this part, I mean, from down definitely reminds me of something. And this one actually looks nice. Oh well. I'm guessing these emotions will be, well, harder to see considering your characters will be seen from somewhat of a different vis vision. Like you're not gonna see them from, uh, you know, behind. And compared to games which are first person only, you know, like Paladins, you're not capable of actually seeing the character in there. Well, at least you'll be, you'll be able to, sorry. Yeah, Alright, let's see. Follow cursor with the eyes. Oh, okay. And obviously zoom in as well. So let's see. Um, hey, line H2, is that you? I could go for a mulatto though. Alright, any others? So you have a brief... I'm actually... Oh wait, my... Uh... Ah, that's the most that one can go. My score wheel has a kind of a problem in a way. It doesn't work as easy. I don't know why this one gives me a Guild Wars 1 vibe with the face. Alright, so let's see. No, give me the longest ears. So I'm guessing this one is like many other games in which each uh, profession is its own race. In a way, I guess. Hey, the braids and the butterflies are actually pretty cute. Hmm. Ah, alright. Hey, they actually have some kind of character here, and I mean, this one tends to be somewhat the cheerful, dreamy. But I like the smirk in this one. Though I don't know why she looks a bit more like a guy than a girl, but okay. 
Oh well, at least there's, it's good that there's an option for uh, what to call health, health styles. I mean, considering they're elves, it's good that they added braids and such. I mean, just long hair, which typically would be the elf specification. They also have short hair. Alright. There's some more braids. I think this is a bit Nordic, if I remember correctly. Alright, so let's see. I can also use randomized appearance. Oh, you can put, you can also change the color of the skin. Oh well. So we have the preset ones, but the question is, where exactly do we... Ah, so we don't have sliders and the such. Oh well. Yeah, this one looks actually neat. I like the idea of such coloring. But... Ah, you have multiple customization options. like a troll with that face, I mean. Oh well, if one had sliders, I bet the hours of customization that would have sunk in this. Well, obviously the hair color I really love, but the point is... Special. It's, it's actually ah, so you can actually change certain specifics. Ah, so here's the customization though. There is an option for lipstick, although usually I don't have much of an interest. I mean, especially in this case where you will be seeing your character from far, far above. Alright, so judging on my memory, this one was one of the things that I liked. Ah, we can do this. Alright, let's see. Uh... Oh, this hair is definitely long. Alright. Ah, shorter hair version, okay. Okay. 
okay, so it's rather short or medium lens with braided tails or whatever the other ones are called. Okay, so no slider bar. But still, the amount of choices is still impressive, one can say. Alright. Ah, so more braids version. And this one, which was apparently the first in the random choice, I think. Um, I would say this one would be better. Oh, we can choose the hair color. Ah, it's good that you can actually rotate the character. <coughs> that one can actually rotate the character Mind this one, I really like the ponytails, but more like the ribbons. But smash this kind of. Uh... All right, let's see. Leave it around a bit. Ah well. Given that this is the most that I can actually zoom in, and given the fact that I'll be seeing the character from above, eh, I don't know exactly if I can. I 
mind if I'm like this. And also put tattoos. This one sounds a bit more mature rather than some Pikachu voice. Yeah. Oh, ah, alright. Are we finished? It only lasted that much. Ah, okay. We can create further characters. Take a look at another character. This one was more difficult. Oh, yes. So you have one, two, three, four, five professions. Sleep. Hmm. Guns and bows. Really? After all, I'm more of a Scottish version of person. So let's see. Um, let's actually go and cast a mail. 
Whoa, they do seem to have some armor. Oh. Now that's my kind of guy. Oh, Jarvan, is that you? This looks a bit... Hmm. Why does this give me some Nord vibe? Elder Scrolls a bit? I don't know exactly. Oh. Okay. This one looks more like a paladin, I would say. Ah, give me this. It also has cape. Alright, let's see. Alright. Oh, come on, like, the only, the only good warrior dance I've ever seen <laughs> is Guild Wars 1 warrior dance, like the male one. Definitely the only original warrior song I've, warrior dance I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh, this looks horrible. Like, was that supposed to be some kind of K-pop dance? Oh, Garen, is that you? Please tell me this guy has a spin. Alright. Well, at least the music stopped. So I can finally enjoy some peace. Alright, let's see. Ooh, this one reminds me a bit of Koss from Guild Wars 1. Or the corrupted version in Guild Wars 2. The undead one. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you can actually get this face. But please tell me this guy has a spin like it's a warrior for fuck's sake. If, it, if as a game designer you don't know what skills to give to your warrior, well a spin to win is definitely one to start with. Alright. Okay, Garen. Your time to shine. Alright, let's see. Change face shape. Let's actually see what other shapes do we have. This one also looks a bit fierce. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it like this. Because I do also like the Darius look in this one. Alright. Ah, so you have the option for bold character. Okay. Then you must definitely call him the brave and the bold, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright. Next. Next. Ooh. Hairpiece. Ah, okay. This one feels a bit more Final Fantasy-ish. All right. Messy hair. Although this kind of reminds me of 
Kakashi? I don't know. From Naruto? Alright. Now we work with this one. I'm not gonna dive into the eyes, cause, eh, you know. Let's see. Uh, it is color. Leave it. Yeah. Oh, Alright, leave it like this. Let's see, skin color, leave it like this. I'm guessing, oh, the tattoos are actually different. Why do I want to make a Nord character right now? Ah, okay. That's technically a tattoo, okay. Eh. Alright. Oh well, outside of this one I wouldn't be interested in anyone else. Guardian spin to win. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's give him the typical character name. For that's a warrior character in one of my novels. Ooh, he's thinking. Well, I'm guessing that's that should be enough for now. I mean, hopefully you enjoyed the customization part of the characters. You are appreciated and well stay tuned most likely i will have more videos about the game incoming thank you for watching you are appreciated take care feel free to watch other content on my con on my youtube channel and all this being said have an awesome day ferenjan board signing out